Hi guys, real quick, I'm on shuttle today. So basically all I'm doing is taking empty rails back to the yard. And that's pretty much it. I already did the pre-trip on the tractor. I already did the, I already did the pre-trip on the trailer. Everything looks good. I already locked it up. Tires are good. This is probably the only light that isn't working but sometimes when you play around in the back you might get it to work but this one has the wires inside the frame so you can't do nothing about it lock mud flap tires are good landing gear is up i didn't hook up to it i just went under it so the lines are connected i connected both lines and everything was good now we have to back it up hook up to it and that's it let's go give it a tug Good to go, good to go. So yeah guys, that's pretty much what we're doing today. Nothing major, no pickups, no deliveries today. All we're doing is picking up empty containers, taking them back to the yard, back and forth, back and forth, all day, and that's it. So we might be back at this row yard because we have a few to pick from or to choose from. It all depends, you gotta look at the app to see which one has the most empties and you go from there, you know? Going through the portal, gotta go slow to the picture, all right? And then we're gonna use our app to check out. We already confirmed the information, everything's good. So now we have a barcode or a QR code, should I say, that you're gonna use to scan and be released. So we went through the portal, unless it's, the, unless it's like the other place, the other UP rail yard that we went to last time, where as soon as I get to the machine, it automatically detects everything, all the information. See, it gave me the green light and my information is gonna be on the screen. Look. Okay, processing completed. MJ, MJ the Troquero. Yeah, guys, a lot easier, a lot quicker. Before it was a process, before you would have to put your driver's license, number, verify the number, choose if the chassis was good to go or if it's damaged. And it was a little process just to go in and out. But yeah, man, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. So right now we're gonna head back to the yard and uh, I'll get back with you when, uh, when I'll bounce anything back. Most likely I'm coming back to the yard because there's a lot of emphasis. So. That way I can show you guys the ins and outs. All right, guys, let's go. Check your surroundings. Even though it's green, check your surroundings. All right, guys. All right, guys, we are here. This is how you enter. The portal, the same one as the other rail yard. You enter, they take a picture, they scan it. And we already checked in Bobtail, so we got the QR code. And basically, we go to one of these, these lines and what you want to do is basically just scan it because I don't know when you pop to a lid I don't know if it scans it and lets you in I don't know if it turns green automatically but it hasn't yet so yeah so it's still red so what you want to do is get your QR code green we're good to go and that's it y'all and you go look for your empty and when you exit it's a lot easier scan you scan through here the portal by the time you hit the, the exit you're already checked out it's all good man all right guys all right guys we are here i found this container that's one thing i hate about these trucks bro if the door is not fully closed and you release the brakes that's what happens and it won't stop until you close so anyways i found this empty it has two tags a red tag and a green tag green tag always means it's good to go you just have to check it right and then it has a red one in the front so i was like what's up with this one so i checked it and everything's good whoever was driving this tractor bro messed up the mud flap and it's all busted it's you know what i'll, I'll put images right now that's how it looks but yeah so i gotta drop the drop the bags activate them so i could pick up the container give it a little tug and I, I'm hooking up to this one because I already checked it, everything was good. And I'll show you guys why it had the red tag. All right, guys. So I normally, so I basically just got off. I didn't even back under it because I saw the red tag. So I was assuming something was wrong with it. But I did not check the tag if it had writing on it. Because when it's red and there's no writing, you pretty much have to pre-trip it and see what you find that's wrong. Sometimes maybe it has an air leak. So you have to connect the line and check that. So there's a lot of little things. If you don't find anything outside it could be internal the lines so landing gear is 
gonna be on the other side as you can see and this one's pretty good you know the the latch is in they're out nice and lubricated this one only has one pin tires are good both of them I already checked it this one this one is still open i haven't locked it because i wanted to show you guys that one i did lock it see how it's nice and lubed the door i already checked the doors they close good so see locked and loaded this one like i said i already locked it that one's good mud flap everything's good tires are good see this little thing I don't know if you guys can see, but I mean, I don't think it's that bad. Just because it has this, I'm assuming it's because of that, because that's the only thing I see. All the other tires are cool. So I saw everything and everything was perfect. So I'm like, what's wrong with it? Let me go to the red tag and see if there's writing on it, right? So I go to the tag and mind you, I had already checked the tires too. So I'm like, okay, so what's wrong with it, right? I look at it and it says bad tires. Dude, I just checked the tires, they're good. Boy, if you don't And there's and there's times guys, I'm gonna tell you guys this from experience. There's gonna be companies like us where you might be on shuttle and they'll have you bringing empties and taking empties back to the yard or just picking up empties and taking them back to the yard but like sometimes in a location there might be a handful of containers where it's like okay I want to come back to this yard and get empties from this one so what most people do they'll see a good container let's say these two containers are good right this is an example let's say these two they're on the app this one's good and this one obviously is good this, this is the one i'm taking so what i'll do well not me but why the fuck you lying why you always lying mm, oh my god stop fucking lying what people will do is they'll get a red one or just a regular white piece of paper they'll write some bs and then they'll they'll put it on this one like that so the writing's there but it's covering the writing so all you see is a red tag so the next person that comes by looking for an empty they're gonna see the tag and automatically they're gonna be like something's wrong with it without even checking right and i noticed that because it's happened to me a few times in the beginning where i was like why are there so many red tags right and that's when i found Found out i would get off and then i would see a red tag and it'll be blank so i'll be like okay it's red tag let me scope it out then i'll go to the back do the whole pre-trip everything everything would be good so i'll be like okay could it be internal could it be air leaking or what can it be right i'll connect everything everything turns out good even on the app when you check it in to check out everything went through gave you a qr code to exit so I'm like, the hell? And yeah, man, I noticed that some of these drivers, that's what they would do. That way they avoid wasting time looking for one. And and by them doing that, it saves them time. So now they're able to just come back, hook up, and they know it's good. And once they're hooked and ready to go, all they do is just take it off, either save it or throw it out, depending on if they have any more. But, but yeah, man. So if you guys do rail yards, please, don't just look at a red tag and be like, oh, that one's messed up. No, get off and check. Cause 90% of the time is gonna be good, so. Like this one's good. It said bad tires. The only thing that I saw on that tire was that little rubber piece missing. That's it. Doors closed. I gotta check the lights. Forgot to turn on the lights. But yeah, guys, don't ever go based on a red tag. If you see a red tag, get off, check, make sure, and that's it. If not, you're gonna be wasting your time just looking for an empty, when literally the one with the red tag was a perfect empty. All right, lights good, 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 good. License plates, good, and yeah, man. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pull it out to be able to get the landing gear. But other than that, man, I mean, it's good. We're good to roll, man. Look at the mud flap, look at that. Look at that, man. I think I know who did that too. Might have been Rudy Valencia, I don't know. Was it you Rudy Valencia? These, you can always leave them like that. A lot of people tend to like, oh my God, let me put it away right here. Oh, let me put it away right here so it could look nice. 
Just drop it, bro. Just drop it. It makes no difference. And that's it, man. Back to the yard. Look at downtown LA, man. What a beautiful view. Sunset, kind of cloudy. Man, what more can you ask for? Let me see. Let's take a, a thumbnail, man. A thumbnail. Should we go wide? All right, let me see. It's a nice view. All right, guys, let's roll. So right now what I'm doing is verifying everything. Make sure that the chassis number is the same, the container number is the same, and that's it. Put our seatbelt. Let's roll. Let's roll, my boy. Let's take our lunch and then we'll head out. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are exiting. We're going through the portal. Picture taken. Even though we have our QR code here in hand, just in case, but from what we've been noticing, we don't need it. We got the green light, we got the green light. Information on the screen, all right, cool. So, and then automatically, reload. You got all your pickups here. Yeah, man, that's how it is, that's how it is. Now we head back to the yard. No, actually, we're going to go drop this one at a location where we normally do swaps because there's a container in that location that owes money needs to be brought back so basically we're swapping this one for that one and bringing that one back to the rail yard so yeah we're not going to the yard we're not going to my yard we're not going to t4 yard so so let's go swap it out and come back and drop it off so i'll catch you guys when we get it Alright guys, we got a little issue, but there's no tissue. <laughs> Trader's not here. Turns out that I'm in the wrong place, my boy. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So I guess this is my fault, because good thing I merged the call when dispatch called me, and my buddy heard the whole conversation. So I got here, and I was looking for the trader. The security guard, she checked the number, and it's not in the system. So right away, I knew something was wrong. So I ended up calling my buddy that I was on the phone with earlier, 
before I called dispatch, because I don't want to get screamed at, and I told them, hey, my boy, do you remember where so-and-so said to drop this uh, container at? He was like, yeah, my boy, it's so-and-so, and I'm like, bruh. I'm way off. So we're actually on our way to that location and do the swap there. So let's go. All right, guys, we are here. I don't know if you guys remember this place. Of course you remember this place, man. I stay here when I do swaps, my boy. But anywho, yeah, this is the place where I was supposed to come in the first place, my boy. But I got confused and I was like, yo, boy, you better, you better, you better tell me if it was here or over there. Tell me it was here, not over there. My boy, it's over there. I was like... this one let's drop it over here you know, blind side watch your surroundings guys check it out check it out Ooh, right next to that one right there man sick as blind side my boy sick as blind side my boy I got disconnected, my boy. But anywho, my boy, continue on. The blind side was way too crazy for this shit. You know what? I'm not to pull forward, my boy. I'm not to pull forward, my boy, because these lines are way too short. Watch your surroundings. We're gonna we're gonna back it up next to it, but on this side. Since these lines are way too short, my boy. And I don't want to disconnect them and make them longer because I just don't. All right, guys, so we're gonna swap it out real quick. Hold on, give me a minute. All right, guys, we are looking for another container, 277, 316. Here it is. Airbags down. All right, let's go check in, my boy. They're looking at me like, we're loading this shit, my boy. Why you hooked up to him, my boy? I'm taking this, B. I'm taking it, B. Ah, and I think it's loaded, my boy. <sighs> Don't tell me it's loaded, my boy, because supposedly it's supposed to be empty. Oh, you know what? It's not even this one. 316. Is it? 273. You know what? She f***ed up. That one's 273. She put 277. Let's go check in. Give me a minute. Alright. Um, right huh? Right now, did you want to check in right there? Well, do I have to check in to swap out a trailer that's supposed to be empty? You're just swapping a trailer? Yeah. Uh, what trailer number? Well, they gave me um 277316. Um, what are you doing? Is it the EMHU? Yeah. 316? Um, give me a second. Hold on. That's the one that they picked up, right? <coughs> What's the number again? EMHU? Yeah. Two seven seven three one six. Oh, you know it's a completely different trip. Um, I think that was in the yard. <coughs> it it's might in be in the yard somewhere. The one that I'm hooked up to. I think that she messed up on one number here. Was it from Laurie? Huh? Laurie? Yeah, cause the trailer that's right there. It's two seven three three one six. Is it EM issues that mostly the green trailers? Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's a, it's a good one. Yeah. See, like that one's uh, EM issue. Uh -huh. And it's 273316. Yeah, and this one's 277316. So I think she messed up yeah. on the middle numbers. Let me see if they're already putting anything in there. Cause okay, yeah, because I told her, I'm like, is it empty? And she goes, it should be by the time you get there. So I mean. We might, we might already be using it. Oh, okay. Well, if you guys are, I mean, can, can we just verify if it's that one? Let me see. Okay. On. 
They're putting in or out? They're putting in right now. Okay, look at it. 277 You know what I mean? So I think it was supposed to be this one. Uh, want me to call her? You have a number? Yeah, I got Okay, yeah, yeah. I thought she had told you guys maybe, I don't know. Well, yes, she should give me a completely different trail number. So it's not this one? Yes, it was a different number. Oh. She, uh, she didn't tell me anything today. Oh, okay. Hey, Lorraine? So yeah, guys, now we wait. Oh, I, I think I know why she asked for that number right there. She sent it, you put it out as 273316. I think it might be 27. Yeah, it should be 273316. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right there, 273316. She put it right there. Oh, okay, yeah, so they messed up on this one. All right, let me let her know. Hold on. Yeah. Good. We're gonna leave this trail here for the night and then have schedule an early pickup. Okay. So, uh, um, I think she can have you go back to the yard for today or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so that's good? Yeah, you're good. You okay. Can unhook the trailer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I am. You didn't hook it up, did you? No, I, I just went under it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, sounds good, man. Alright. Hello? All right, that's fine. Okay. All right. Bye. All right, guys. Y'all saw what happened. Texted me that number. They got the numbers kind of mixed up. So they're loading it already. And they're just going to schedule it for early pickup tomorrow. And this one, the one that I dropped off, she wanted me to take it back to the yard. But since there's times where we just bring empties over here, I figured in my part, I would just leave it here since they might want to empty later. So, but she's going to double check to see if, if they want me to just leave it here or take it with me. So let's go. Let's back up to it just in case if they do decide that they want me to take it back or take it with me then we're ready to hook it up there she is yes all right you're welcome all right so yeah, bob till back to the yard. But I gotta put my lines away. And that's it guys. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be it. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any more work even though I'm on shuttle. Unless they still want more rails, then I'll go and grab empties. But I kinda doubt it. So yeah guys, I think that's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. And stay tuned for the next video. Alright y'all.